Now let's talk about Sam Darnold. Okay, let me get this because it's just amazing. Um, all right. Dear friend of both of us, really, I mean, I've known Matt Mayoko my whole life. I love Matt Mayoko like a member of my family. Straight off the bat, Matt Mayoko went off KMBR and talked about Sam Darnold and said some stuff that Jason and I happen to disagree with in a respectful way on a football level. Maddie, if you're watching, it's all love. We just want to respectfully disagree. Hey, man, you put it out there. and we Thank you for putting it out there. Now we're going to talk about it. Love you, Matt. So he said, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead. no just, I just want to say, too, like, Matt, if you're watching, you've been nothing but nice to me. Um, I you're think the, greatest. the world of you, man. You're, you're, you're the awesome. Greatest. You're nice. You have, you've always been wise with your time and always giving me and good, good advice. And you're good at your job. And you're amazing at your job, by the way. Like, that's it. I just want to make sure. And, you, and I appreciate you giving a take because I give takes all the time and I'm wrong a lot. So here's what you have to say. <laughs> he might be, can I say this, the most talented thrower of the football that the 49ers have ever had. Whew. let's just put him in the very high echelon of guys who can just drop back in the pocket and throw the football. I think that he hasn't really had any chance to succeed since his college days are over. I think he's had four head coaches in five years, five offensive coordinators in five years. He's a talented guy. Okay. The, the, I mean, the last stuff is all true. It's that first sentence. Mm -hmm. He said, can I say this? The most talented thrower the Niners have ever had. You can't say that. <laughs> no, what? No. Like not even close. No. Not even close. I, I don't understand where Sam Darnold gets his perception that he's just super gifted. Kyle said it. He must be saying it off the record for, for Matt to say it, too. I mean, what do you think of Matt's assessment? Well, let's do the timeline. I mean, Kyle tried to give a first-round pick to the Jets. Thank God the Jets were like, no, thank you. Um, uh, yes. I mean, that's that's true. That's absolutely true. Was that 22? It was right before he, he ended up in Carolina. Wait, they picked wait. up his fifth okay. year, and then they moved him on. But he was – the Jets said no. The Jets said no to a first round pick. Oh, bonkers, insane. Thank you, little Jets. Thank you. Appreciate you. Guys. Yeah. Um, I can understand talent. The talent has never been an issue with Sam Darnold. He has these throws that are on tape that you look and you say, "My goodness." Yeah. There it is. Yeah. But then he has these mind numbing throws that, for me, have nothing to do with your coach have nothing to do with the talent around you when you throw the ball into a linebacker's stomach. Mm -hmm. That has nothing to do with situation. There mm -hmm. are some throws on there that you can see and you say that's what people saw in him at the number three pick. But there's not enough of it for me to change the fact that he has been poor for almost 55 games. And that's not situation. That's not coach. That's not. I think it's it's very easy to say. Well, Adam Gase, he's not a good coach, and he ruined. Yeah. Well, Adam Gase actually got Ryan Tannehill rolling, and you just forget that because it's so easy to throw it at the feet of Adam Gase. So easy to throw it at the feet of the Jets. What about the Panthers? Right. Mm -hmm. So he goes over to Carolina. The last six games, this this six game stretch that everyone is holding up about Sam Darnold has to be the most laughable narrative out there. And I'm going to tell you why. He threw six touchdowns and had five interceptions. And in many of those games, if anybody watched, Ben McAdoo dumbed down the offense so much that there was no deep shots. He literally said, here's your intermediate throws. Throw it on DJ Moore. Throw it on to, uh, to um, or hand it off to Deontay Foreman. And they made it very easy for him. And the best that I came away with watching those six games over again was he was decent. Six touchdowns, five interceptions. And someone pointed out there were two games in which he had zero turnovers. So that means in four games, he had five turnovers. Yeah. Grant, I, Hold on, let's back look, up, man. though. Because May May Mayoko said in his defense is that Darnold's the most talented thrower of the football no. the Niners have ever had. And so, again, so the fumble Matt's issue not, is different. That's not wrong there. But that's, I, not, Matt, Matt, that's not wrong that he has talent. He's not the most talented. Yeah. I mean, what, what what happened to Joe Montana and Steve Young? Like, my goodness, man. Like, they, they, yeah, they, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, are, are we? Are, are, are you? Joe Montana wasn't wasn't a talented thrower of the football. Steve Young wasn't. Those are two of the most accurate throwers of the football in the history of the human race. In the history of the world, Craig. The world, Craig. Not just. Okay. Santa Claus, Santa Claus Sam, jacket people. <laughs> the world, Craig. Are we kidding? Like maybe Sam Darnold has a stronger arm than Steve Young, but so did Jim Druckenmiller. This is a guy yeah. with a career completion percentage below 60. Like chill, Matt. I love you, yeah. Matt. But the other thing, let's talk about the fumbles and the turnovers. 
This went back to USC. You can't blame this all on the Panthers and the Jets. His last year at USC, he threw 13 picks and fumble and lost nine fumbles in 14 games. That's crap. And he yeah. did that in college, and he still got drafted third because the year before he had he had one good year in 2016. That is the source of all of his hype. He wasn't even good his final year in college, not by like these standards. So I don't know. I don't get it. It's again, it's the six game sample size in which he played decent. Anybody who tells he didn't you he lose. Was, right. Yeah. And anybody who tells yeah. you, oh, he was amazing. No, he wasn't. No. He was not amazing. No. If he was, if he was amazing, the Carolina Panthers would have kept him <laughs> and not him. replaced him with Andy Dalton. A rookie, Andy Dalton. That's Andy true. Andy Dalton That's what they is did. their starter. They said, Yeah. You didn't do enough in those six games. We'd rather have the red rifle and draft a quarterback. Why don't you bring back Darnold and that quarterback? He's got red hair. Like, yeah. It, it's yeah. It's 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 you uh, need a different quarterback with red hair who's older than it's him. Ginger hypocrisy. It's ginger hypocrisy. It's, uh, but my it's, question but is it's this. it's telling. My question is this. With those six games, and Mamayoko's yeah. not saying this just because he wants to say it and get his hot takes off. Like I really think that no. they believe that. They believe that in the building. They believe that. I, yeah, it, that's the thing about Maddie. He doesn't and no disrespect, but I feel like people like Maddie, they don't necessarily make their money on takes. So if they have a take, they feel very confident in it, mostly because they're connected. They probably heard it heard in the it. that's how the team feels privately. Yeah. So yeah, he feels fine absolutely. saying it. That's my guess. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I yeah. feel the same way. When when Matt talks, I listen, but then I I I understand that there is a lot of his football acumen into He's it. Extremely but a lot of the, informed. But at times it is more, it was more like he heard this. Okay. So yeah. six games in which Sam Darnold was decent. And yet that six game sample size outweighs right. the 49 other yeah. games in which he was. Can I curse on this program? Dog shit. In, in many of those games, terrible at quarterback, like some of the worst throws I've ever seen. And yet the narrative is now I can't wait to see what Sam Darnold does with Kyle Shanahan and these weapons. And after five games with Trey Lance, you never hear anything about that. And that's more concerning to me because six games should not weigh 49 and five games shouldn't be when you get to the right. end of your discussion and your evaluation with Trey Lance. So here's where the logic falls apart with Darnold. People are basically saying without saying he hasn't been given a fair shot. He hasn't been given a fair shot. And they'll list all the excuses, right? All the coaches, all the coordinators. And there's truth to that. There but is. if you're going to stand Sam Darnold next to Trey Lance and say, which one hasn't gotten a fair shot? Sam Darnold, with his 55 career starts in suboptimal circumstances, or Trey Lance, who's getting thrown out of town after three and a half games. Would you tell me who hasn't gotten a fair shot? How is that even a, a question? It's obvious. Sam Darnold, Sam Darnold has gotten more than a fair shot. He's, yeah. he's, gotten, he's had two teams invest in him. Yeah. He's had the, like the nine Panthers, lives in the league. The Panthers traded for him. Yeah. Now, when you talk about the situation with coordinators and all that stuff, usually when quarterbacks perform poorly for their entire career, they don't just – Wake up one day and they're good. Alex mm -hmm. Smith, cool. You guys want to point to that one? I know that's what you're. I know that's what you're probably saying sure. in the comments. Alex Smith, cool. One. Geno Smith, cool. Two. Steve Young, cool. Three. Every single other quarterback that has been bad, no matter where they've been, has stayed bad. Unless Geno wasn't as bad. Geno wasn't as bad as Sam Darnold. Sam? I mean, Sam no, Darnold was no, really and, bad. They they just got rid of Gino. Gino became a journeyman. Like at the end right. of, at the end of the day, when it comes yeah. to that. But my thing is is I dislike when people point to like the three quarterbacks who turned it around and leave out the sixty seven other quarterbacks who were terrible and never were good, even though they were talented. Right? Like I just I and and again I'm just also Alex about. Smith. He turned it around, but he wasn't ultimately good enough. Alex Smith was a fine quarterback. Fine, fine, a fine yeah. quarterback. Fine but quarterback. He was never he gonna win a Super Bowl. He never turned it into like this electric, like the, Steve Young's the only person who went somewhere was was with the Tampa Bay Bucks. He was terrible and then turned into one of the greatest quarterbacks we've ever seen. I feel he confident was, saying on the record right now on camera that Sam Darnold will never, ever, 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 ever be Steve Young. I I would take money on that bet as well. Um, and then with Geno Smith, Geno Smith had a very good year, but now he's got to do it again. So huh? was last year an aberration? You know, I'm we'll happy see. for him. You know, that's the thing. Yeah. 
So I just like when people point to, well, Alex Smith did it. Geno Smith did it. Okay. It's doable. But point to the other people who never were anything when they were terrible. Like in the, you in know the beginning I like of their too? career. People be like, hey, man, let him play with Christian McCaffrey. He did he play did. with Christian McCaffrey. You know who didn't? Trey Lance. <laughs> exactly. That's. I feel like every argument people make to say, hey, don't rush to judgment on Sam Darnold. It's like, okay, but why don't you follow your own advice with Trey Lance? That's Don't rush it. to judgment on Trey Lance. Hey, what are you talking about? That's it. Yeah. Like, look, yeah. look, Grant. Maybe there is a really good quarterback in there in Sam Darnold, right? It's possible. There's, in the range of outcomes. Or one that has that doesn't suck as much as we think he sucks. Exactly, right? So there is yeah. a world where Sam Darnold is good. There's a world where Trey Lance might not be good, right? Yeah. But you people dismissing 49 games of Sam Darnold. and Not saying, to mention well, his I, final year at USC. And, yeah, and that too. And then with Trey Lance, it's ah, I, I, books written, get him out. Like I, I can't. I, and then did you see him at training camp? Well, you didn't. Uh, you know, whoever's saying that, you didn't either. Like at this point, and you could say that he was inconsistent, which he was, but he needs reps. So I am. This is the case of sample size, and I think a lot of people tell on themselves when they jump into the whole. I believe in Sam Darnold, even though I have this large amount of sample size that is showing me that he's not good. But I am done with Trey Lance because he showed me in four or five games that he needs some work, and I don't think he'll ever be good. You kind of tell on yourself. If you are trying to get more information on Sam Darnold, then you should feel the same way about Trey Lance. That's Let all I'm Let me tell saying. you something. So, like, to me, the next G uh, Geno Smith in the league is not Darnold. It's Jameis. Like, Jameis, baby. If you want to compare those two, like, they're both turnover machines. Very questionable decision-making uh, both have turned the ball over a lot, but Jameis Winston has thrown for 5,000 yards. He's thrown for 4,000 yards two other times. He's thrown for 33 touchdowns in a season once and 28 touchdowns in a season once. Sam Darnold has never thrown for more than 3,000 yards. He's never thrown for more than 19 touchdowns in a season. He's never had the highs that Jameis has had. He's only had lows with a lot of turnovers, like losing play. I don't get but it. That's, He's not that's Adam Gase. That's all Adam Gase and Matt Rule's fault. I mean, they're the ones yeah. throwing the ball to, right. to linebackers right. and safeties and right. corners. Like they're, they're the but ones Jameis that doesn't that. have excuses, right? Jameis, and what else is funny is, you want to talk about situation, before he got injured and before Sean Payton left, he was playing his was best football, he was and he wasn't and not he wasn't just over. airing it out. Like It wasn't like when it was with Bruce Arians, everything was just, you know, no risk and no biscuit, just Bombs throw away. it. Yeah, and Todd Monken in that offense, it was just throw the ball, and it doesn't matter. Mike Ev Mike Evans down there somewhere. He'll go and get it. But so this does lend itself to a little bit of situation. But again, if we're going to bet on who I'd rather have here, I would absolutely rather have Jameis Winston than Sam Darnold. Um, and, and I would absolutely rather take a chance on his skill set because I've seen more, even though a lot of it is bad as well, too, with Jameis. I've seen more from Jameis than I have yeah. from Sam Darnold. Like, it's not even close. Um. All right, we got to move on. But before we do... My final take here on what Mayoko said is if the 49ers are really walking around the building this offseason and whispering that they have brought in a quarterback who has the best skill set that's ever been in that building, shame on them. Come yep. back to the real world, please. Yep. Join us on the real world. I don't know that, what the hell you're thinking. That's another thing is with Kyle that I, I have a gripe with. When he has tunnel vision on a player, no matter what it is, wide receiver, quarterback, whatever, they can do no wrong, and that's it. I love this guy, and he's he's my guy. That's why you take C.J. Beathard in the third round. That's why you know you you get into your into all of these you know Jalen Hurd over Terry McLaurin. Like you yeah. get tunnel vision on what you think this player is, and you lose sight of the the other um, circumstances and other players around them. So and it's crazy who he develops these like you know, crushes on. It was Brian Hoyer. It was CJ Beathard. It was never Jimmy. Doesn't really feel like it was ever Trey. Now it's Darnold? Like, really? Freaking Darnold? Like, you're the same guy who loves CJ Beathard, man. Why don't you chill? Have some self-awareness and relax. One more Come thing on. that Kyle said that kind of bothered me, too. There's a reason he was taking number three about Sam Darnold. What's Blake Bortles was taking number three. What's the reason? You took What's number three, Trey Lance. What's the reason? Yeah, exactly. How do you pivot? Everything you're saying about Trey, uh, Sam Donald applies doubly to Trey Lance, and you think we don't notice? Dog. And that really that really got me mad at the owners' meeting when yeah. he said that. Like, how dare you talk about number three pick when you had the number three pick and you have him in your build? Like, just come you on. traded up for him, too. 